All right, so for Illustrator, guys, what we're going to focus on is kind of the pros and cons of the software. I'm going to tell you a little bit. I'm going to go into a little more detail about getting, you know, the import process right and uh, controlling layers and stuff like that than I have here in AutoCAD because I'm under the impression that there's more experience in this room with AutoCAD than there is with Illustrator. Do I have that approximately correct? Yes. Okay. So um, one of the things I'm going to do, and you don't necessarily have to do this, um, is I'm going to get rid of one of my hatches so that I can show you the process of creating a new hatch in Illustrator. Um, one of the things that I first have to discuss with you is that when you're, when you're pulling geometry out of Rhino, um, it comes through sort of, you know, basically it's just a bunch of line work, right? And this is a very simple model, so my connections are all very clean. If you have a, you know, wild and warped geometry, odds are you're going to have broken connections, right? You're going to have corners that don't exactly line up, uh, corners that you need to trim and edit. So the truth of it is, the process for Illustrator should go through AutoCAD. And I know it sounds exhausting, but um, sometimes the benefits of Illustrator can severely outweigh the benefits of AutoCAD. Um, or at least it used to be so. Apparently, Iggy and I have been talking and the, the ability of AutoCAD to do raster imagery now has, has greatly improved over the last couple of years, but I don't know enough about it to teach it. So I am going to teach um, the alternate, which is Illustrator, which apparently a few of you like. Yeah, he hates Illustrator. That's that's very true. So in AutoCAD, um, really, the, the cool thing about the AutoCAD process is you can set all this stuff up just like this. You can set your layers, get everything ready to go, and then really just not deal with setting up your sheet, which is kind of significant because when you have um, when you have a lot of different drawings that you need to put on the same sheet, Oftentimes it's easier to do it in Illustrator because you're dealing with the sheet all the time, right? You're always working in what that view or what that view, yeah, basically what that view is going to look like when you print it. So um, let's go into Illustrator and let's set up a drawing. This one will also be an 8.5 by 11. So let's go to File New and uh, switch your units to inches and it should default you to eight and a half by 11, but you're gonna have to switch your orientation to landscape. <clears throat> so one of the things you can change here is whether or not you're doing RGB or CMYK. Um, I'm not the color expert, so I don't really know the benefits. I know that you can get more true color out of CMYK. It's closer to what prints on a, a page. RGB, I think, is better for web graphics, but I could, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, you can change your raster effects here. This basically means um, Il Illustrator is a vector program. It's like AutoCAD. So there is no such thing as a pixel when you look at it on the page. Now there is when you export it to a PDF or a JPEG or some other form of imagery that you're going to print. So these raster effects are going to define the resolution of that image when you export it, basically. Um, so high is fine, whatever. Um, preview mode, uh, don't worry about the preview mode, actually. I don't want to introduce that to you right now. We'll talk about that later. Um, so then you can just hit OK, and you should be good to go. It looks like this. Um, I think I briefly touched on this before, the simple navigation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the zoom tool, very good. Just hold Alt to zoom out or no key binding to zoom in. Um, so we have what I was getting at really, it's you know short story long there. Um, the, the AutoCAD file that you set up and you get ready in AutoCAD, you clean all the edges, you do some hatches. If you want to do them in AutoCAD, you can do them in AutoCAD. Um, and then all you have to do is just save the file. That's really all there is to it. Occasionally you might have to save as and make it an earlier version depending on what version of uh, Creative Suite you have um, or Creative Cloud. 
So uh, I'll just save back just in case. I don't know what I don't know what the versions are. So you shouldn't have to do that. But anyway, so then you go into Illustrator, and it's as simple as well. The simplest version would be to just file and place and drop the file in. That's not the correct way, and I'll show you why. So don't write notes on that one yet. Um, actually, where was that AutoCAD file? Where did I save it? Save as. Ah, okay, really. Okay. So you navigate to the AutoCAD file, section trial, and hit place. So here's what happens. If you simply place it on the sheet, what you get is a whole bunch of line work. It does borrow all the properties of the layer. However, when you um, go to your layers in Illustrator, there are no layers. Right, exactly. So it took all the layer properties, but it didn't take the layers. Um, so that's not the proper way to do this. The best practice here is for instance, if you have a big board with a bunch of views, um, I'm just going to simulate a big board. Keep your 8.5 by 11. I'm just going to simulate a big board here. So 36 by 48. So if I have a really big board like this, what I would do is open the AutoCAD file. Hit OK. Scale to fit artboard. Sure, that's fine. So you open the AutoCAD file, and then it takes with it all of the layers that you set up. Yes? Um, what if you're trying to open multiple drawings at once? Same thing. Uh, I think it'll work. Yeah, you could just it'll just stack them up in the top as tabs. Yeah, well, yeah. So that's, that's what I'm getting to next, is that all you have to do is just Control-C to copy and then go to your view, either the big board with all of your other drawings on it already, or let me get rid of that. I don't know why I even made that. It was useless. Um, hold on. Did I keep the wrong one? I did. Hold on. Let me get it the right size. Eight. Okay, so um, on your 8.5 by 11 sheet, once you copy and paste, all you, oh, it came out big. Um, so all you have to do is just copy and paste it. Ah, I see, I had a setting wrong. Okay, so this might happen to some of you. It might not happen to all of you. But what happens is um, there's a setting in the layer panel that defines whether or not it will paste the layers from another file. And so if I go to this, let me just get rid of that real quick. Um, if you click on this little button on the right side of the layer panel, there's a toggle at the bottom. Some of you probably can't see it. It says paste remembers layers. So if you toggle that on, and if I open it again, you'll see it has a checkbox next to it now. Um, when I paste it, now all of those layers came with it. Yeah, you have to paste it again. So then you scale it down. Okay, I think it is going to matter what you save it as. What's that? Because I tried to open it up right now, it says it's unknown. Yeah, so maybe you have to save it back to a 2010. All right, guys, uh, I don't know. How, how many of you actually saved it back to 2010? I did it 2014. I always got 2004. I did 2004. That's what you Yeah. Okay. I don't know why yours isn't working. Apparently, they can get away with 2014, a few of them. But, um, yeah, so if you have an error where it says it can't read the file, try saving it back a version. Yeah, I had the same error, but it just did 2014, and it worked. Okay. All right, so uh, what I... I guess what I want to do is I'm going to stop this video here because it's really just all about importing the file. Um, next, the next video, I'm going to very quickly go through changing all the settings, which is actually one of the good things about Illustrator. So um, what questions do you have about importing?